Hello, hello. I am Missa. This is Deponia. And we are off to find the rebel encampment. But before we do that, let's talk to this uh, burrito bar or whatever it is. She looks like a big extra, extra large burrito herself. With Play a nice. Brown beef cream filling. <laughs> Delicious. Play nice. Talk to her. Hi there. Hello. Was that all? Just hello? What would you like to hear, huh? Welcome to Burrito Rap Paradise? So you think my sign isn't flashy enough? Nah, not really. Um, so here are probably burritos, special offers. I'm scared of those since she eats flies. Let's start at the top. <laughs> what are you selling here? This is a fashion boutique. I sell men's suits with matching designer hats. Yeah, looks more like a burrito stand to me. How perceptive of you, Inspector Trash Vest. Why are you even asking, since you obviously swallowed a lie detector, huh? That's a good point. Any special offers today? I've got these burrito wraps for 1.25 zlotties each. If that's not special enough for you, go someplace else where they have flashing signs that say special offer. But you can count on it that their burrito wraps cost a lot more. Flashing signs don't come for free, you know. That is true. Flashing signs are expensive. Four burritos, please. Sorry. My assistant resigned. You had an assistant? Yeah. No idea how he managed to open his shackles. W well, why don't you just make the, the burritos yourself? I've had surgery. The doctor says I shouldn't move too much. Curse my big heart. Why? Did you donate a kidney? No, didn't you listen? I said, my heart is too big. Ah, oh, come on. Make me a few burritos, will ya? No, without an assistant. Do we need to make, find her an assistant? That's weird. Um, the rebel camp is east, I presume? Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? Ah, uh, just down the road, behind me. And you tell me just like that? I mean, what if I were an Organon spy? Well, you just can't plan for everything, can you? You could have been a mutated flu virus. Then I shouldn't even have talked to you. That's a true statement. Um, how about baby go? Have you seen a, a, a baby pass through here? I know nothing about missing babies. Nothing. And no one can prove otherwise. Oh, come on. It should have passed here just, just a minute ago. Oh, in that case, I really don't know. You're looking for an assistant? Oh, so you can read, bravo. I'm looking for a handsome man to work under me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> too bad I'm busy. I said handsome, didn't I? Have you found a male assistant in the meantime? Yeah, but I ate him already. <laughs> you, you're joking, right? Yeah, if you have to explain it, he's not a joke anymore. That's all very worrisome. Uh, nothing from me right Let now. Let us run away. Choice. We got plenty of that. Male assistant wanted. Yeah, well, she can just keep on looking. Okay, so there are doors here that go various odd places, but we were looking for the rebel camp, and that apparently is over here, so let's do that. What we have, we have an antenna. Sergeant Bambi, is that Bambina? And Lottie, okay, so these are return characters who are dressed as hippies or something, I'm not sure. Let's look at this. Is it really that hard to make these things stable? Take it. Just FYI, this time I'm breaking it off on purpose. <laughs> well, of course, I mean I, I'm going to uh, adjust it <laughs> just a little bit more. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. Okay, we have dodge referral letter, antenna fork, which I have no idea what that'll be useful for. Let's go down and talk to what look like recruits. We will probably say something stupid and sexist, so brace yourselves for the idiocy. Bambina? Lottie? What are you doing here, and why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. Where now? 
now, officer... <coughs> officers of the resistance! <laughs> officers. <laughs> Cute. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now, and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Do you hear that, Lottie? I think Ruf... <coughs> I think Rufus is making fun of us, Sergeant! I think he's looking for a new set of teeth. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That causes chafing. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be awful. Let's see if I can ignore the incredibly dumb questions. Um, you've joined the resistance? So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> Do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, it's funny because you're women. <laughs> Don't you get it? Oh, for pity's sake. I always knew you was an idiot. But a sexist idiot? What? No, no. It's got nothing to do with sexism. Some things just don't fit together. Women in the resistance. I mean, that's like, you know, putting a sombrero on a wombat. It's like Intelligence and Rufus. Oh, 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 sombrero! You see, even Lottie finds it funny. And I don't think it's because she's prejudiced against Toxicans, right? Never. Or Wombats. Oh, I love Wombats. They're so... Uh -huh. They're useful animals! Exactly. Just like women. Wow. Um, ugh. I assume the rest resistance is up here. Let's get punched by Bambina, though. Where are the real rebels? What do you mean, real? Do you think this is a dream or something? Want me to poke you with a needle? I got one right here. I could stick it all the way in if I have to. No, no, I, I mean, I meant the true rebels. Yeah, wow. Garlef, Liebold, the old gang, you know. Oh. Them. Yanush is left on a mission, far as I know. Golef and Leibold are in the camp, uh, right behind that gate. Huh. Well, they'll have to do for now, then. Uh, we're gonna... I don't want to bother you, uh, any longer. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't have time to bother you any longer. That's more like it. So the adventure games, I have this, I have this conflict with this game. Because on one hand, it's an adventure game. And I want to go through every dialogue choice and see everything there is to be said. On the other hand, I can't always handle Rufus's mouth. So I kind of want to shut him up sometimes and go on to, you know, actual important things. Yoo-hoo! Open up! Yes? Liebold! What luck! Uh, let me in! Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me! Rufus, come on, you must recognize your leader. You look like Rufus, but you can't be him. Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yanush. Yeah, but I'm right here. That's your opinion. Uh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Who's in charge here? A new leader. Well, then let me in. I, I want to talk to him. No, I can't. How can I be sure you're not an Organon spy? Yeah, that takes the cake. After all, I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean, besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Huh. What? This is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups. So we have to prove to the person who knows we were with the rebels that we're, we were with the rebels. This is ridiculous. All right, let's see if uh, psh, Lottie will help us out. Hello, you two lovely ladies. Yo again. What do you want? I need someone who can identify me. Ooh, you say Bozo is sick. We'll do that in a minute, too. I need someone who can identify me. Yes. You are Rufus. Yeah, I know that. But Liebold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah, you're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> uh, what about a little pony? Or a adorable kitten paw prints? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. Um, let's see. Got an idea for your squad. Okay, so we have to find a squad insignia for them. And let's also see if we can do something about Bozo. Bozo's sick. Ugh. Not his milk allergy acting up again. Tell him I'm not gonna hold back his hair this time. Yeah, that's no fun, for sure. But that's not what I was referring to. I think he's depressed. Because of the planet's destruction? Ah, no idea. He's totally lethargic, just muttering to himself. Ah, he doesn't have to worry. The new general has a plan. I have a plan, too. Huh. In that case, I take it all back. He should be very worried indeed. So who's the new general? Attention! Superior officer present! Ah! Huh. Where? Behind you! <laughs> Naturally, I was referring to myself, you herbal cannon fodder supplement. Yeah, right. We're only taking orders from our squad leader! Yeah, well, I don't care who that is. She's under my command as well. I'm the big chief, after all. <laughs> nice try, Rufus. But we know the general, and you're not him. The what? The general? Huh. Squad leaders? Generals? Have I really been gone that long? So who do you think the general is? I'm very, very curious, because you know it's going to be somebody we know. Um, let's see. We Let's start here. I've got an idea for your squad insignia. Let's hear it. I'm sure it's not something suitable. I'm sure that's a puzzle. But let us... How about a shark? What about a shark? Huh. That's not a bad idea. Mm. Don't you think a shark might make me look fat? Uh, that would depend on the color. What about... <coughs> Dusky pink! Uh, but then it won't go with the shoes. What about a mop? What? Well, so we can mop up the blood and gore of our enemies, right? Yes. No, Private. He's only trying to insult us. But if he carries on, he'll wish he had a mop for his own guts. Yeah, these are gonna be dumb. I'm sure All right, find something suitable. If you think of anything else, keep it to yourself, unless it's actually good. Short break. They won't. Squad and signal. Okay. I don't want to bother you uh, any longer. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't. That's yeah. There we go. Okay. So we need to. Find them a squad insignia, so Bambina and Lottie will come up there and help us get into the base so we can meet a general who I sh I'm sure is someone we already know. I'm absolutely positive. Let's look in this storm drain since there's an eye on it for who knows what reason. Whoa. Yoo-hoo! Oh, rats. Nobody there. It's like a whole world down there. All right. What's up here? We can go up, up, and down. Let's start in the middle. Barry! There's somebody at the door! I heard it. Chase him off! I need quiet for the cover story. You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed. <sighs> yeah, I know. Rufus, come in, but please be very quiet, okay? Hey, it's our buddy from the beginning. Barry, our only fan. So I suspect the other doors take us to up here, where this rope seller is, who has nooses hanging around. That's weird. And, let's see, psychiatrist, maybe? Therapist, okay. So the therapist is across the way from the suicide booth. That's a hot mess. Editor-in-chief. Okay, let's go talk to Barry. Hey, Barry. Why so sad? Oh, Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. I'm totally swell. And you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. 
I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. Well, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am. If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. <laughs> yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great! I'll be right back. Okay, what can we take? Take some ink. There's only one single letter in the type case. Let's a take capital it. capital Yerk. Isn't this needed? No. Whatever for. There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special. Mythological Physical Extremities. Oh yeah, I think Tony had that issue. Whatever for. The cover story was about centaurs. Oh yeah, of course, I remember. Okay, anything else down here we want? Paper. So we have paper and ink. And a printer, printer symbol. If my name were Urkel, I could stamp my initials all over the place now. Too bad. So you didn't do it, what you're saying? If my name were... Too bad. Okay. Finger folk... What? He doesn't need to be rescued. He knows how to save his own neck. So we... Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. He looks grumpy. I better not bother him. So we need to find a subject to take a picture... Uh, with our fingers, I guess? Are you merely saying that I find it inappropriate for you to be selling rope directly next to my practice? I don't know what you're talking about. I stock nothing but high-quality products. And with all due respect, your clientele seems to feel the same way. Since the Organon destroyed the facade between our businesses, my sales have tripled. I've never had a customer come back with a complaint. That... Uh, no, forget it. I just did. Okay, well, he's... that's... okay. I don't even know what to say about this entire situation. <gasps> Two ropes for the price of one! Alright, let's take a flyer. Ah, I see you are interested in our flyer. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent! You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, what are you doing? I'm making a paper airplane. What else? But my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test flight. Works for me. Display merchandise. Can I have a test rope? Classy. I bet they'd look good on goal. Whoa. Whoa. That was dark. Um... Can I... Poster. Eleganza, the rope for the fashion-conscious woman. Welcome to Morbid Moe's Rope Barn. Moe's Therapeutic Ropes, the cheaper alternative. Wow. All right. So <laughs> such a mess. Yoo-hoo! Good day to you, sir. Would you like to buy a rope? We have exactly the right rope for every neck. Hmm. What are the financing options? <laughs> a man with gallows humor. I like that. But we only accept cash, unless, of course, you're participating in our rebate campaign. With 30 points, you get a toaster with a fixture for the bathtub. Nah, uh, I don't really know. I think I'll take a look around first. Of course. Take your time. And don't hesitate to ask if you need any help trying something on. So can we use... I bet they'd look... And have you... Yeah, I'm still browsing. Oh, there's a test sample right here. Let's look at this. Mmm, velvety. It flatters the neck. Mmm, it fl Alright, I think this one over here is going to be the important one eventually. To swing across or something, maybe? I don't know. But I don't see anything else over here to mess with. So let us go down and go over to our therapist. Start by stealing this stuff. Whole cabinet full of prescription psychotropic drugs. Well, if I can't get Bozo back to his old self with that, then <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Hands off! 
The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. Oh man, what, we have to prove we're not beyond hope? I have hope, I'm gonna save the world. Or are you not paying attention? I'd like a therapy session. It doesn't work like that. You need a doctor's referral. <laughs> Is that really necessary? My family doctor doesn't much like me. The last time I saw him, he locked me up in prison just because I set fire to City Hall. Uh, uh-huh. Then you're in the right place. That much is sure. But first, you need a referral. Yeah. All right. And in the meantime, I'll get a larger notepad. It's a good idea. I have a referral right here that I stole because I am psychotic. I have a doctor's referral. May I see it? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. Just right. lie down, okay? Buy me dinner all first. Right, all right. Maybe a movie. All right. First, walk I'd in the like park. You to tell Something. Me why you're here. So I got this friend. So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh. I see. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change. Like, saving the world, etc. Saving the world? Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible, but that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes, but now, of all times, so close to victory, boom, count me out, nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. And quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. He can't split himself in three after all. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, uh, Say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business. And, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. Uh, I see. One thing at a time. Why uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about uh, yourself? All right, let's... This would be a great little segment for pretty much every adventure game ever because they're all insane. Um, I was dead. I was dead. You mean you had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Hmm, like a nightmare at first. Then I remember a light, and eventually I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Uh, I see. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday when I brushed my teeth. In the mirror. Right. And what's so terrible about him? Oh, you know, Gold's ex fiance is an Elysian, a real sleaze bag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, I, what? complex. But, but this isn't about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. Um, let's... Can we... <laughs> I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that, yes. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall, but at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the underwire from Grandpa's bra. 
Uh, I see. Grandpa? What? I'm racked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend? Isn't that what you told me earlier? Nah, it's fine. I revived her. I'm more worried about her going down the drain. She's only a baby. Uh, I see. I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Ah, uh, I see. I'm plagued by fears of failure. There's so much left to do, and so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure, but sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Yes. Yes. Are you even listening to me? Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. Mm-hmm. Um, can I just get some drugs, please? Can't you just write me a prescription of some kind? Ah, oh, really, all this is taking much too long. While we're chewing the fat here, part of me is already halfway to Elysium, while the other part is still roaming the sewers. Bravo! That was a very figurative and extremely precise piece of self-analysis. You are making enormous progress. The last thing I want to do now is put you on medication. Ah, rats, rats, rats! But I want to be on medication. So it means that my friend should to chat with you. Just give me some uppers. Oh, Just give me a few uppers and we're done. Mm -mm. That is out of the question. First, I need to learn more about your case. Then I will decide whether some kind of drug therapy seems appropriate. Oh yeah? If you're that keen on seeming appropriate, why are you wearing those pants? But th this is not really about me. It's about my friend. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? That's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks like there's something wrong with that. <laughs> I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? Excellent. You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? You should. It's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game. <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. <laughs> Much more so than my father, you know, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So. What do you see in this picture? Um, let's see. That is... Me. Of course, it's Rufus. It's gonna say it's me. That's me, on Elysium, together with Goal. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. What do you see here? None of those. I see a baboon. Big old eyes, nostrils, mouth with a skull and crossbones coming out of it, but it's probably hearts. Anyway, lovely glitter elf. Ah, a lovely glitter elf. You what? <laughs> a glitter elf, you know, like in a fairy tale. Ah, uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> Most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a glitter elf if it crawled up their butt. Uh, I see. 
Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? The devil. Oh, a great hero myself as the devil with the pitchfork, yes. I see a great hero. Myself. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right, that's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. Uh, no. That is not going to happen. We need... What do we need? Medicine cabinet here. We've done all these things. We've been everywhere. We've talked to everybody at least once. Okay. So we're going to kick off there. And we're going to, next time, go over to our Blue Rufus and see where he ended up. I am Missile, this is Deponia. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.